All right, it's January 6th here in St. Louis. It's about 50 degrees today. It was upwards of 60 degrees yesterday, and the week before that, it was freezing cold. But anyway, I thought I'd uh, show you all how I keep track of all my lawn stuff. All right, what's helped me significantly uh, put a plan together and uh, record what's going on and understand every, everything a lot better is uh, making some sheets of uh, what I got. And here is one of my sheets I made is my lawn journal. It's really kind of uh, rough. I'm gonna make a new one uh, for 2019. But um, I got my four different uh, areas of lawn here. The main one is my north. Um, got when I irrigate, I got how much uh, rain I get. I got the soil temp, although I didn't uh, rec start recording that until late in the season. The high temperature of the day, the dew point average. <clears throat> and I have some other things here, uh, like my video posts. And uh, cost, which I didn't keep up on that, but. And notes. So, I mean, this, this really helps significantly. And here I got, each time I do something in the lawn, like um, green is, is means uh, a green fill color is mo. So or everything I do is, is color coded. So I have uh, mo is this dark green, uh, fertilizer is this uh, lighter green, pre-emergent, post-emergent, um, insecticide, fungicide. And so here is a fungicide, here's some nitrogen, milo, milo nitrogen. Nitrogen, so it looks like it's probably some urea. Here's some phosphorus, insecticide, sulfo, sulfo sulfuron, um, disease X. So here in the summertime, obviously didn't do very much. And then where's my, where's my fall blitz? There you can see my fall blitz. I did a, some sort of a spoon feeding here every week. I added some stuff and um, yeah, so yeah, forgot to mention that. So here's my second time mowing, third time mowing, and I actually labeled it. And so far this season, I think I've got like 72 times mowing. I mowed yesterday actually. But yeah, it's extremely useful. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So you can see here early in the season in April, I just started mowing and it gets more and more frequent as the temperatures increase and then I slow down in the summertime here it's huge slow down here J through July through uh, July 8th through July 26 I did not mow because I didn't need to and then I started mowing even more and more and more and more <laughs> then I started this is when I started uh, my renovation started real mowing uh, really low so I, you have to in here I was mowing every single day and um, yeah so this is extremely useful so here, here you got some dew point uh, this is a, a useful to know when to put some fungicides down battle those uh, all sorts of different types of pests um, what else to go over here another thing I made uh, shared on the lawn form Extremely, if you don't know about the lawn form, you need to go there and make an account and visit it because it's hard to do without that. You get certain sites that are useful, but this is, lawn form is, is where it's at. Anyway, so I made this from information there and other places. Um, this is a sheet, a sortable sheet where I could uh, get all the, the popular fungicides and I could just choose one. Say a Zoxystrobin, oops clear and there so uh, zoxystrobin treats all these types of fungus and here's a uh, it's all the frat group 11 because it's the same one uh, interval duration I need to add that and you could also sort by the type of fungus you have the trick is you need to know what fungus you have but there you go so here's brown patch and here's all fungicides that are going to treat brown patch and you could actually get a idea of what frat group to mix and match for that and again it, you, some people might consider this overkill some people might consider this not enough but and then I got some other things of uh, example little cycles here and you get some 
useful sources. So this is this is one of my better sheets, even though it's not perfect. But um, here's another one, lawn treatments. I use this one to figure out what is the best value because I don't like spending too much money. And a lot of times products are way overpriced. This ended up sh small, but it, <laughs> it's, it's, I added and added and it started to get kind of convoluted. So I need to redo this too as well. But anyway, so here I got the story where I got it, the brand label, the chemical, the percent of each respective chemical. And I got the cost of cost per pound of active ingredients. So I um, multiplied the uh, percentage times the weight of the product. And then I also factor in how much it costs. <clears throat> so I get, uh, so for example, Lowe's Scott Turf, uh, Turf Build Starter. Um, you're actually paying 225 for the total uh, pounds of active ingredients. It, you can't uh, delineate how much each one costs because it's, it's uh, three variables. It's impossible to do unless you know how much a manufacturer is paying for that. But uh, anyway, this is extremely useful. And let me see if I find a good example of, I think uh, uh, dithiopure, here's a good example of where it's particularly useful. So here's like, I also have a column of cost per uh, uh, 1,000 square feet. <clears throat> so here in the high price, um, <laughs> sorry to do my own, but uh, I love that site. Um, that sometimes they're the best price, sometimes they're not. In this particular instance, uh, this is some of the most expensive. So do my own high yield turf and ornamental grass dithiopure, or AKA dimension. Um, cost per 1,000 square feet is $5.10. Whereas the cheapest, <laughs> well, what do you know? Do my own is both the highest and lowest price. Do my own Quali Pro dithiopure. Um, is actually a dollar twenty-seven per one thousand square feet. <clears throat> so it's just very nice to, to have this. Figure out what what's going to be your best deal. You're not wasting money. And then also got herbicide, herbicide, <laughs> herbicide sheets. I also realized I mispronounced chelated in an earlier video. <laughs> I was saying chelated. Maybe I'm just gonna go with chelated. Yeah, I'm just gonna herbicides and chelated. Gotta get some chelated herbicides. Anyway, uh, so I haven't sorted these yet because I'm not finished doing this, but here are all your herbicides and what do they treat. I need to continue adding all these. Dithiopia, obviously haven't done that. Um, so you can sort this and that'll be extremely useful. And here I started a new one because um, all these, uh, uh, the Green County stuff, Look extremely useful. I, I like the idea of it. Uh, some of it seems overpriced. Some of it seems like actually a pretty good deal. For instance, the Humic 12, fifty dollars for a two and a half gallons, twelve percent. It's actually one of the better deals for Humic um, uh, liquid, liquid, liquid Humic. Um, in other areas, it's, it's pretty expensive stuff. But, so you just gotta figure it out for yourself. I compared it to uh, another local store I have here, and their their equivalent type of Green County products. And so it's, it's all kind of interesting. Um, I, I'm a much more data visualized uh, on a sheet type of person. It helps me understand it all. So for this year, I'm gonna combine these all these sheets um, into one file. And uh, I'm also gonna add um, a, uh, a water ev uh, evapotranspir transportation? <laughs> Evap trans transpiration, evapotranspiration? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna add a sheet for, for water in here. I'm gonna base it off of uh, um, Pete from the Lawn Forms um, sheet he shared. Thank you, Pete. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend at least doing some very rudimentary um, sheet uh, lawn journal to help you understand your lawn better. Puts it all together. Okay, thanks. All right, well, I thought I'd share that. Uh, again, I highly recommend getting this, uh, some type of journal for yourself. And it's January 6th here in St. Louis. Comparison of all the grasses here, most of them are dormant or very brown. The hell strip is fighting, fighting the brown. Staying green, A-Linus. 
up here not nearly as much because it's not a the new type of grass like this Kentucky bluegrass if you're not aware uh, mono stand up here is miscellaneous different things all right thanks for watching see you next time